So now in this video, we're gonna look at the light dependent resistor as a voltage divider. So I'm gonna take this resistor here. You can see light dependent resistor is connected to the positive rail there. And we're gonna take this fixed resistor and connect it where the light dependent resistor is and uh, put the other side to the negative rail right there. So current can flow through there based on the fixed value resistor and the uh, variable resistance here but it will build up a voltage right there. And to look at that voltage, we're gonna use this oscilloscope. So right now we have it to five volts. The voltage of the power supply does not matter, but the light dependent resistor gets to almost zero ohms of resistance if it is bright enough on it. And so that uh, resistor will have to make sure it can limit the current. Right now it is a 5,600 ohm resistor, 5.6K right there so plenty more than we need that's not a problem in this video but be careful going too low with uh, that value resistor but in any case you can see we got zero volts right now because we are not measuring the uh, output here so this is the output as far as the voltage divider is concerned so that's connected to the red alligator clip I clipped it to this jumper and went over there and so each square here yellow arrow there is zero volts each square is one volt, so one, two, three, four, five. So looks like maybe a spec below five. That's because there's practically no resistance. On, uh, I mean, there's there's some, probably a few hundred, but uh, compared to 5,600 on the more negative side, we have a very low resistance on the positive side, going to the positive rail. So we get a high voltage in relationship to the power supply. Of course, we can change the uh, voltage of the power supply and uh, it will go down so before we do that actually let's look at it so I will take uh, this right here and you can see that uh, I can cut out most of the light to the light dependent resistor its resistance goes up and so we get a lower voltage I turn that light off we go to practically nothing so I do have the uh, TV on in the uh, background so some light is hitting it. So now we will drop the voltage to, we, we could go up or down, but let's go down to three. And you can see that uh, the voltage divider there, it went down, but otherwise it works exactly the same. So we're getting a percentage of the power supply voltage based on the uh, light. So that's the uh, main takeaway. So now I'm gonna go back to uh, five volts. So you can go higher, lower, doesn't matter, it's percentage. And uh, so we'll just stick with five, keep things simple though. Now, right now we have it, if the light's bright enough, then we will have the uh, full voltage up there. Let's first change the sensitivity. So now there's just a connection to the positive rail, the, the light doesn't really matter. Let's go to uh, voltage wise. This is a one kilo ohm resistor. So now you see a lower voltage. Not because I changed the power supply voltage, but now there's less resistance on the more negative side of the circuit. And so it's harder for a lower resistance here to pull it to the positive rail. But we can just make a brighter light on there. And so I'll try to cover that so it doesn't wash that out. But there you can see with the brighter light, the voltage went up and now that it's darker my hand was also shading a little bit it goes down so you can change the sensitivity with the fixed resistor and uh, so the lower value fixed resistor the harder it's going to be to change the voltage based on the light dependent resistor and the higher the value the, the easier so now we're going to go back to the 5.6k and you can see it's bright enough now that we have the full voltage we can actually do the opposite we can pluck this, put the fixed resistor to the positive side of the power supply, and then put the light dependent resistor on the more negative side. There you can see, now the voltage is practically zero if it is bright enough, and if we darken it, then the voltage goes up. So you can go that direction also. And this is just an alligator clip cover. 
like uh, this alligator clip cover. There's the alligator clip that I pulled it off of. They come off and are pretty easy. So we have uh, that variation also where we can make it uh, more negative. And uh, so that's all I think I was going to cover on this. I think we covered all. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, more light, the less resistance it has. So more light, the better it conducts. Less light, the worse it conducts. This gets up into the millions of ohms if you get it dark enough. And if you get it bright enough, it gets to practically zero ohms of resistance. So you have a very, very wide range of options. And your fixed value resistor will depend more on the uh, light that you will be dealing with for uh, any given situation. And also, as I said before, these get down to about zero ohms of resistance if there's enough light on there. So you're going to need a current limiting resistor that is sufficient for whatever voltage you're using if that gets to zero ohms but uh, that's all topics for other videos that's it for this one so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching i will see you in the next video